Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at the polar form of complex numbers. Again, the, the geometric representation looks very similar. We have a complex number that has a real part A and an imaginary part equal to bi. And notice we can represent that by considering the distance from the origin to that complex number and call it r. And of course, that's very similar to the modulus. Matter of fact, it is the modulus, but we just simply represent it by r. That means that distance from there to there and by the angle relative to the positive real axis. Now, when we do that, we can say that a cannot be calculated to be r times the cosine of theta and b can be calculated to be r times the sine of theta. And since z, the complex number, is equal to a plus bi, we can replace a by this and b like this and then get to new polar representation of the complex number. Let's do that and see what it looks like. z now becomes equal to a, which is r, times the cosine of theta plus bi, and b is r times the sine of theta, but now it looks better if we put the i in front. So we're going to put the i in front, so i times r times the sine of theta. Now notice that each of these two terms has an r in it. We can factor it out. So z becomes equal to r times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And so this becomes the polar representation of that complex number. Now let's investigate the value of r and theta. Now r can be said to be equal to the modulus, which is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So it's basically using Pythagorean theorem to get the value of r. And we can represent the angle theta by saying that tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is b, the adjacent is a, so this can be written as b over a. Or we can solve that for theta and say that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of b over a. Now, theta can also be defined as the argument of that complex number. So that's probably a name or expression we should become familiar with. So that's the polar representation of a complex number. We can take the number z equals a plus bi and write as z equals r, the distance from the origin, to the complex number in graphical format times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And again, they rather put the i in front so we don't get confused with calling the angle a complex the complex part of the angle. We want to therefore put the eye in the front so there's no confusion. And that's how it's done.